Hello there YouTube, I'll make this a short and simple video here. Pardon all the mess on the bench. Okay, this is a Variac. It'll go up to 3 amps. I will take a picture of it. It cost me about $70. Some of the writings wore off. We've got it set at 100 volts on the top and the scale will read 110. Now it's not accurate. I have had a volt meter on here. It is more accurate with the knob than with the meter here. Okay. Now, I will include a picture of this motor in here. So it's 110 volts. Okay. 120 volts is in everybody's house. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the Variac. We're at 100 to 110 volts. Okay. Now this is what we're going to do. This has been running about 15 minutes, everything's warmed up, still a little warm for the bearings. I've had it, I have it warm in the shop, about 50 degrees out. Oh boy, this is about 70 over on the thermometer. Okay, now, if I was to run this at 120 volts, we'll crank it up, we can turn it down. I will start hearing this motor go up and down, up and down. Well, when I looked at it last night in the dark, there's too much sparking in the brushes for me. Watch it won't do it on camera. But trust me, it will. It'll start going up and down. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Bear with me. There's 110. Not much change on the knob here, as you can see. Down here it just labors. You can't run that lane down there. I've already tried it. You couldn't go through plastic with it. This just a little idea I had. I had some quarter inch round stock in there in that chuck and I was doing some center drilling in it. Figured more accurate than the lathe. So I have the drill bit spinning like it's in a drill press and had the quarter inch round stock over in this chuck and drilled some very nice perfect center holes in quarter inch stock, soft metal I had. Because I wanted to make some bushings out of them. Real soft steel. I want to make the bushings about a little, let's see, a little over a 16 inch hole, whatever the bit was. So I found a little bolt. I want to make some little bushings that were half inch long. So this is what I was doing last evening. Kind of my own contraption. I know it's probably not in instructions, but you all get the idea. Normally you'd have the drill over here and you have the piece in the chuck. Well, I could have put the piece over here, but I figured that's got to be more accurate drilling from here. And I have lined this up, eyeballed, and checked it. I don't have no dial indicators or nothing yet, but it did pretty good. It drilled the pothole there just right. Now I have to spend the time to drill out those little pieces of metal. I have one laying here somewhere, and I can't tell you where it is, but we're getting sidetracked. But I just wanted to post this video. That motor clearly says 110 volts. I have 120 coming in the house, okay? So far, I'm not hearing that up and down is bad. There's a controller board back here. There's a circuit board back in here. Here's your knobs here, okay? I'm gonna run this on my Variac. It is going up and down a slight amount. Of course, you're not putting no load or nothing on it, but make a short video. Thanks for watching this one. I thought I'd clearly show. Motor says 110 volts. Thanks for watching. I will include a picture of this. Uh, I found this at All Electronics. They have like three different sizes. So I'll put a couple of pictures of this little Variac. You'll find them, you'll find them out there, Google it, All Electronics. They got a lot of little uh, motors and switches and all kinds of goodies. Thanks again for watching. Okay, just a short clip of it on 120 volts. Got the Variac turned all the way up. I can hear it going up and down, fluctuating. We're backing off about 110. Because this ain't super exact. Knobs in the same spot. There's not a, lot, a whole lot of change when you do that. When you go up. To me, it sounds better than doing this. I can hear it going.
going up and down. Excuse me if I go off camera. It's 100 on knob, 110 on the thing, so it could be anywhere in between. It's more accurate on the knob. That sounds a lot smoother. Okay, that's enough of this video.